Hey guys, how you going? Andrew Hawks here, author of Rivers of Gold, How to Create Multiple Income Streams. Guess where I'm sitting? I'm sitting in a Unibike in Singapore at the Expo. Okay, so this model is certified. This is a certified model. That's pretty cool, eh? Um, I'm hoping, like hell, that uh, we get a good connection in here because I am live. Uh, sorry, I am on the Wi-Fi for the uh, thing. So I've got one viewer. Darren, how you doing? So I'm sitting in a Unibike. It's a certified product. I'm here at the Expo in uh, Singapore. So I'm going to jump out of here for a sec. Hey, Lou, how you doing? So check this out. This is a certified product right here. I'm going to turn this video around and keep talking for a second. Just wait one. So we've got, oh, look, there's a lovely Mila Sergikova. Right here in front of us is the Unibike. As I said, this is a certified product. Uh, this is our stand here. Well, when I say our stand, Skyway Technology stand here in Singapore at the Exhibition Centre, just across from Marina Bay Sands. Um, there's a few people here. There's Victor over there. I'm going to go and have a chat with him in a second. But I want to show you this model, this working model, where I'm going to try and get this down under potentially next year. We're looking at running a, um, look, you can see. This is one of the efficiencies of this great product is that it can run two simultaneously like that, one suspended underneath and one across the top. Of course, we're all co-owners that are involved with Skyway and Vest Group. Um, there's Victor over there, as I said. I'll come back to him in a second. But, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting, getting my uh, selfie stick right. So, the beauty of this is that everybody can become co-owners. Now, this is just the first step in Skyway and Vest Group's journey, if you like, because we've got a lot more strings to the bow. But obviously I wanted to come here for myself, I wanted to see this, I wanted to sit in it, I know it's been there and I'm going to get the opportunity to actually ride it in it in about three or four weeks, which is awesome, up in, uh, up in Minsk in Belarus. But there's a whole heap of exhibitors here, I've already spe been speaking to LTA, which is the Land Transport Authority here in Singapore, they've got some meetings lined up this afternoon with some ministers from Cambodia, so heaps of things going on and there's some exciting developments happening in the, uh, in the mix with regards to projects. Now, as soon as, uh, as soon as Victor's free, I'm going <laughs> to... I should have gone straight over before and I asked, Hello, Sarah, how are you doing? So, um, heaps of things going on. Oh, somebody asked me the other day about this contraption, so I'm going to show you this for a sec. Now, this right here, this is essentially the motor. This is how we move. Now, there is a braking system on here, uh, disc and calipers. Now, I asked about the brake dust because somebody actually asked me that question a couple of weeks ago. Well, what happens with all the brake dust? Because, obviously, brake dust can be an issue. Now I've just been told that the, the caliper set up there is actually only a secondary braking system, which is awesome. That means that most of the braking actually goes through that housing there in the middle that's uh, all encased and looks very flash. Most of the braking and acceleration, everything happens from that unit. So that brake there, the caliper, is just a secondary braking system. So that makes it a lot easier um, to explain things. Now there is a cowling that goes around those brakes. Um, and what happens is there's a channel up in the top there where the motor's housed that uh, dissipates all the brake dust so it doesn't actually have a big brake dust build up like we do on conventional cars. So that's pretty cool and good to know because somebody actually as I say, asked me that the other day. Now Victor's still talking with someone over there. Obviously we've still got a few, a, a bit of staff, um, Skyway Technology staff over here. So I'm now going to put Victor right on the spot. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Victor Baboran. I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm going to ask him a couple of questions. So um, Victor, how are you today? Great, everything is going very good. Uh, today we had a visit uh, to our stand from the Min Minister of Transportation himself of Singapore. Uh, we had a small conversation, I presented to him the technology and he was really surprised and he said that he wishes us all the best in the Asia region. Fantastic, that's good to know. So does that mean we could potentially see some developments here in the near future? No, I think that uh, mostly that you see from the news, uh, on the official news from the Skyway side, is that at this moment we are more concentrated on the Middle East region. With all the guests that are coming to the Echo Park, uh, our main target at this moment is, uh, as I said, Middle East region. Awesome. So there's pretty, obviously some pretty exciting developments going on up there. There's probably not too much you can share with us, but is there anything at all you can share from us or share with us from out of that region? As uh, you know, we... All that we can open in the news, we are opening in the news. All the other information will be uh, disclosed by the Anatoly Yunitsky himself, or if it will be agreed, we will show something, uh, something soon. But at, the, at this moment, it is classified. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Fair enough, fair enough. So um, obviously, we've got a pretty big event coming up in the next three weeks, Victor. We've got um, EcoFest coming up in, in, in Minsk. Can you tell us a little bit about EcoFest and why people should get themselves there? Uh, about the EcoFest, so at this moment all the team of the Skyway Technologies company is working to show 
as much as possible of our new de developments in Echo Park, connected with the way structure, connected with the new rolling stock, connected with some other new technologies that will be of a small surprise for all of you guys. So, and I hope that uh, Anatoly will share more info about uh, what our company next steps, because, of course, I would like to tell you more, but sorry, sorry, sorry. At some, at some moment, I have to stop myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, Victor, thank you very much for your time, my friend. It's, uh, it's always a pleasure. Look forward to seeing you again up in Minsk. Yeah. So see you soon in Minsk. See you guys. Thank you for all you are doing for us. And build Skyway, save the planet. <laughs> awesome. So, guys, that was, uh, that was Victor up here in Singapore. He's, he's pretty excited. There's a lot of cards he's holding close to his chest for obvious reasons. We can't release too much information or they can't release too much information. For fear of what actually happened in, in India repeating itself, and we don't want that. We want to make sure that we get these projects on the go so the initial uh, investors early back, back in the day can start to get a return. And that's Yanitsky's um, big promise to, to all the people that have helped crowdfund this dream for him is that we can get some, uh, some form of payment back to them as soon as possible. So obviously the big projects are, are quite... Uh, important to Yanitsky to make sure they get it and it makes sense up there it's six hours from Minsk to the UAE so it makes sense for him to sort of give a little bit of his focus there we'd love to see something down in Australia obviously pretty soon but uh, obviously we understand what what Yanitsky wants and, and it's at the end of the day it's his company right so anyway this is Andrew Hawks live from the expo here in Singapore thank you very much for tuning in I'm going to go and just enjoy some of the hospitality here Heron's there, he's waving, he's actually watching too apparently. But anyway guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll um, talk to you guys really, really soon. Oh, actually, but before we go, we'll say see you later. See you later. Okay, so that was pretty non-eventful. Anyway guys, have a great day, we'll talk soon.